Welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a look at how to set up a web server on our network. As you might remember, I've got Mr. Powell's laptop over here, and I've given it an IP address, 192.168.0.10. And I've also given the other laptops different IP addresses, and I've got a server over here. I'm going to add in another server to be my web server. You don't have to do this. You could put lots of services on one physical server. That's quite common. But in this case, we're just going to separate it out. So I'm going to double click on here and I'm going to call it web server like so. I could call it anything I like. It doesn't matter. And I am going to give an IP address of 192.168.0.3. And of course, I'm going to connect it with a cable. So now I can simulate my network. And here we are. So I've got my web server over here. You can see there's the connection details, my laptop and the other laptops. What I'm going to do on the web server, if I just bring this into the screen here, is I'm going to install three different things. So I'm going to install the web browser. I'm going to install a text editor. And I'm also going to install the uh, file explorer like this. There we are. Oh, sorry, I said web server, didn't I? And I've installed web browser by accident. There we are, web server. Apply changes. So now I can start my web server. So when I click on it, I can just click start here and it will start accepting connections. Now I'm going to bring these all on screen together. Sorry, it dips behind there. So Here's my web server, and on my laptop, I'm going to now install a web browser on my laptop, like so. And I can go to here, and of course, we don't have any domain names, we don't have a DNS server, so we can type in the IP address directly. So 192.168.0.3, and when I press enter, we will see the traffic coming over the network here. There we are. So it's downloaded an image and a web page from the server. And you can see here what's going on in that it's got a get request from a particular host and it's sent back the OK header. And then here is the web page going back. And then it's got another get request, which is for the image that goes in the web page. And you can see here there is the image data being sent. What students obviously would like to do is they'd like to be able to modify this. So I'm going to close the web server. It's still running in the background. So if I open it up, there it is again. And I am going to have a look in the file explorer. Now in the file explorer, can you see there is this web server page here? And in there, there is index.html. I can, if I want, import files here. So I can upload a file from my machine, I'm not going to do it now, and put it into my web server so I can start to build my own website. Or I can go into the text editor and simply open the file in the web server directory, which is index.html. Open. Oh. Didn't get that correctly index.html open and here you see there is the web site that it's just downloaded just normal HTML and I can do things like for example I can say welcome instead of willkommen so I ask the students quite often what happens if I save this uh, to over here and they think it just updates, but it doesn't, of course. We need to refresh the page, and there you see it's updated. So setting up a web server is really, really simple. One interesting thing we can also do is we can set up an echo server on here, like so. 
and when I open up the Echo server, I'm going to put that on port 80, which is where a web server would listen. Start. So now, if I get my uh, web browser and point it at the other server, it's going to send a GET request to the Echo server and you can see exactly what has been sent. So GET that. Okay. So once that has been done, you can even get this and then you can paste it into a generic client and it will go and get the file it will return the file off of the web server if you point the generic client at this machine so you can actually dig down into what the protocols actually look like what commands you have to give and so on so what we've done in summary is we have set up our little network we have created a web server and then we have the laptop connected through the switch here and I've installed a web browser and a web server they can communicate sending files back and forth and what we get is a working website if we want we can introduce more web pages onto here and then we can get hyperlinks working that's quite interesting as well I'd just like to point out that if you're interested in terms of how it's transferred if you right click on the web server or on the laptop and say show the data exchange then it gives you this great window here which shows you all the different packets and which layer they're operating on being transferred back and forth I'll leave interpreting that as an exercise for the viewer I might go into it in a later video thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoy using Phileas